Guys, so in the last episode, we helped Wheatley take over the facility by reprogramming the turrets with bad turrets and killing GLaDOS's uh, neurotoxin emitter or generator. Anyway, then I guess the bastard betrayed us and sent him down, sent us down here. Glad he put GLaDOS in a potato and now a uh, bird just took GLaDOS away. So, yeah, we have to find our way out of here. We can get back upstairs, or up to the top levels of the, of the facility. Sorry, guys. And, uh, yeah, find that titanium testicle and kick his ass. Okay. Just so you guys know, I always get turned around in this part. It's really annoying. I mouse didn't want to move. Okay. Two. One there. Don't want to go down there. I think I gotta go down here. Hmm. Too much water. Got a portal there. Hmm. Keep out. Do not enter. Do not enter. Condemned testing area. Hmm. What do you think? Should we go in? Yeah, let's go in. Let's go in, sure. Why not? Why not? Because after all, what could happen? What could happen? Oh, thank God for long fall boots. Oh, really rumbly. Man, like these walls, I know it's not snow, but it reminds me of being in a glacier. Like seriously. Now what is that? I wonder. Pull lever, okay. Whoa. Now that is a big ass door. Shall we open the big ass door? Yes. Let us open the big ass door. So how do we oh oh too low. There we go. So how do we open the big ass door? Well, yeah, one station here, one station here. Pop that there. Uh, oh. so I've been playing Half-Life 2 a lot. So I'm used to uh, using the uh, zoom, like the Z button as the zoom key. Oh, 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 crap. Oh, I hit it. Just in the nick of time, I hit it. Whoa. You've got to be kidding me. As Xander Harris once said, Big overture, little show. Yeah. In case you guys don't know who Xander Harris is, he was a character on Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And yes, I have seen that show. Pretty much the only vampire show I'll actually watch. Well, aside from Blade. Because Blade's awesome. Now who the hell would be sitting 
there, I wonder. Okay. Oh. Lo and behold, another loading screen. So I know it's been a while since I've actually recorded anything. Well, not a while, but eh, a few days. Um, I've actually been trying to get my uh, new channel up and going. So, whoa. Danger. I don't know if this is supposed to be a lot like Fallout. I've never actually played any of the Fallout games. I kind of want to though. Because they look kind of interesting. Kind of Portal-esque. But that's just my... My, uh... Damn. Just damn. 1952. I wonder if that was the year this building was constructed. Okay, and just in case you guys are wondering, that is J.K. Simmons. He uh, is probably better known as uh, J. Jonah Jameson in the Spider-Man movies. I don't know about the new ones, but in like the uh, the early trilogy. And honestly, whenever I hear that voice, I think of I think of uh, uh, Jameson. Okay, so. I need to get over there, and the best way to do it is fling myself from there. The best way to do that is go through here. Whoa, whoa, no, 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 ah. Damn it. Just so you guys know, not the first time that's happened to me. <laughs> okay. Can I, yeah, there we go, plop. Now this I like, because this is basically like a perfect, you know, go right here, because right here there's like a perfect long fall area. Oh, there we go, and through the fall, and... Oh! Oh, that hurt. There's a thousand tests performed every day here in our enrichment spheres. I can't personally oversee every one of them, so these pre-recorded messages will cover any questions you might have, and respond to any incidents that may occur in the course of your assignment. Okay, so I have Lego Dimensions, and there actually is a Portal 2 level in that, and they're uh, in the uh, Portal 2 um, Adventure World. You actually have that as a mission as you fight the Mantis Men. But someone said that this part reminds them a lot of Bioshock, and I've only just started playing Bioshock, and I gotta say, yeah it does. Just 
you know, way less creepy. That's supposed to be him. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Do we take the elevator? Yeah, let's take the elevator. What could happen? Well, a lot could happen. But hopefully nothing happens now. God, I hope nothing happens now. Mm. Okay. So. Okay. We have to fling ourselves from there to get to there. And how we do that is go... Well, I'll show you in a minute, but you actually can... Oh, what the hell? I'll show you. There. You can go over here and check things out, but I think... If you've cut yourself at all in the course of these tests, you might have noticed that your blood is pure gasoline. That's normal. We've been shooting you with an invisible laser that's supposed to turn blood into gasoline, so all that means is it's working. Well, that's nice. If you need to go to the bathroom after this next series of tests, please let a test associate know. Because in all likelihood, whatever comes out of you is going to be cold. Only temporary, so do not worry. If it persists for a week, though, start worrying and come see us, because that's not supposed to happen. Just a heads up, we're going to have a superconductor turned up full blast and pointed at you for the duration of this next test. I'll be honest, we're throwing science at the wall here to see what sticks. No idea what it'll do. Probably nothing. Best case scenario, you might get some superpowers. Worst case, some tumors, which we'll cut out. Uh, get the feeling that there's just some like very very sketchy shit going on here uh, sorry I was trying to keep the language PG for these okay so go down here and right here is a hole and right down there is a portal surface you're right Yahoo! Oh no. That worked. Okay. Bump station alpha. Hmm. Oh, cool. Yeah, some of the sound, like the sound design for this game is just like awesome. Dang it. Okay, let's see if that'll work. Ooh. Maybe, nope, 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 nope. 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 Uh, it is not going well, I think. Okay, so... Oh, there it is! Oh, shoot. Oh, no problem. Yep. Uh, of course, I'm going to have to walk on the pipe. They say great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand-holding. Well, that's nice. Considering I really don't know what the hell I'm doing here. Okay, I do, but I'm guessing he doesn't. And anyone who's ever played this game for the first time, yeah, they don't. Me, I've actually played this game quite a bit in the short time that I've actually had it, because it's just that awesome. Oh, very dark. 
Ow. All right, let's get started. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Ow. That's tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. Okay. There's a sign here. You guys want to read it? Okay. If you guys can finish reading it, I just say pause it and actually. Okay. If you guys want to finish reading it, okay, pause it now. You finished? Okay, let's go. I should have done that beforehand. So, blue goo. What does the blue goo do? The blue goo is bouncy goo. Woohoo, bouncy goo. Oh, that sounds so much like Dr. Seuss. I am so sorry. You guys ever grow up with Dr. Seuss books? I did. Dr. Seuss, Tintin. Lots of stuff. Alright. Yeah, we didn't have uh The lab boys just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. <laughs> They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre recorded messages. I pay the bills here, I can talk about the control group all damn day. Okay. Oh. You find an office. With weird typewriters. Very weird typewriters. I think they're typewriters. For this next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you set out a folding chair in the lobby and work wearing leather, Oh, thank you very much for the tumors. <laughs> okay. So, I'll finish this test and then stop the episode. Because I think we're getting to about 20 minutes. Yeah, 20 minutes. So, exit's over there. We need to get from. Okay. Ooh! Never mind. Just me being a blind, old, forgetful fogey. That's what happens when you're over 30, guys. Oh, God, I'm so old. So old and my body's just falling apart. Okay. Uh, bounce. 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 And yes, I do say bounce when I'm playing by myself. Bounce. 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 I'm just stupid that way. Ouch. 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 Oh. <laughs> yeah, that would have been splat. Okay, so. Very nice to know. Doesn't like my skeleton. Jeez. Okay. 
One thing I did want to uh, mention before is this loading screen right here, like the symbol right here, always reminds me of Iron Man's um, um, core or whatever, the arc reactor thingy in this chest. But I am going to call this the end of an episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I think that was part eight. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's part eight. So n coming up next is part nine. So if you guys enjoy it, like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to. Um, if you guys are enjoying it. Okay, so bye for now.